Hello, and welcome to Info Texas. Have you ever waited for hours in a line or been put on hold and transferred over and over just to get the information that you need? Everybody has that experience, and that's why we've set up this Info Texas touch screen. It provides information on a wide variety of public services, all in one place, convenient to you. This pilot program uses advanced technology to get fast, up-to-date information into your hands. It literally puts state government at your fingertips. So give it a try. In February 1994, InfoTexas was officially unveiled. In attendance were key state officials, members of the Texas Employment Commission, representatives of IBM, and North Communications. Uh, today, the Texas Employment Commission and North Communications we should unveil Info Texas, a public access interactive multimedia network for delivering government services. Over the next few months, we're going to be placing about 50 of these kiosks all over the state. Basically, it's, it's to bring the government to the people of Texas. I'm delighted to be with all of you today, um, and I'm, I'm really pleased to be a part of the, the inauguration of uh, this new technology. For two years in a row, I, I know you know that Texas has created more jobs than any state in the United States. Uh, there are half a million more Texans on the job today than there were when I raised my hand to be sworn in. And Info Texas will help connect Texans who are still looking for work uh, to the jobs that can make a difference to them and to their families and to our economy. Info Texas will allow Texans to check on job listings, employment, training programs, their rights as employees, without the hassles of long lines and busy telephones or special trips to the TEC office. It allows every Texan to get on the information highway and to get on it at their grocery stores or in the mall or wherever the kiosks are located. And it allows TEC to make access to their services more convenient without the substantial cost of setting up new offices. This is an example of the beginning. You're going to see more of this in schools. You're going to see more of it in medical centers. The dual access opportunities are going to increase and it is really terrific that we're taking these first steps today and seeing that it connects people and jobs. Thank you very much. Live, this is Texas News Live at 6. New help tonight for those looking for a job. Governor Ann Richards, the Texas Employment Commission, and North Communications have opened a new kiosk where anyone can access information on job openings in state government. The governor decided to look for a job herself. Touch here if you'd like to look for non-government jobs. If you want to find a job in state government, touch here. Oh, uh, I think I'd, I'd like something in professional managerial. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. <laughs> I want one that requires experience. <laughs> Look at all these jobs, y'all. No kidding, I'm not kidding. I don't know if we can reinvent government, but I think with the beginnings here, we are reinventing how TEC delivers its services, and we're doing that from a client and customer perspective, and that's the real key to this kiosk system that we've got. The business formula for this program is as innovative as the technology formula. There's all kinds of capabilities like this, but who's got the money to pay for them? And we came up with a creative partnership between a private business and the state of Texas that gives both parties the best of both worlds. We're at risk to develop this, deploy it, and make it run and get people to use it. The state of Texas isn't at risk because it's out there doing service with no advanced cost. If we can drive people to use it, then the people of Texas win, first and foremost, because they have better access to state services. And the state wins because it actually costs less to do the tedious, repetitive transactions that state government does over and over 
through this medium than any other way. And the state just pays for services. The state doesn't pay for these exotic boxes or for the networks that tie them together or for all the technology. The state just pays for service and does its business, which is delivering service to citizens. There's now a new way that you can find out what jobs are available all over the state. Corpus Christi Mayor Mary Rhodes has been in office for four years. She feels she does not need a job since she plans on winning her re-election bid next year. But she is getting a first-hand look at how job seekers here will use the new Info Texas service at Padre Staples Mall. You don't have to have any computer skills. It's a follow the directions. It's, it's not only in writing, but there's a voice, and he tells you, press this here, press this here. It's, it's very easy to use. This is News 36 at 6, your 24-hour news service. The state is going high-tech to make it easier for you to apply for a job. A listing of state jobs is now as easy as touching a computer screen at the mall or a grocery store. If you want to find a job in state government, touch here. Governor Richards helped introduce these new job information kiosks. They give Texans quick access to an interstate job bank and facts on job rights and employment insurance. 50 of the computers are going into shopping centers and grocery stores around Texas. Governor Ann Richards comments on the importance of the InfoTexas network. I think that it's so important to bring government to the people. For so long, government has seemed locked inside a granite office uh, and the people had to find the building. With this kind of InfoTexas kiosk, actually we're taking government out to the people. It's particularly significant that we're starting between people who are looking for work and jobs. Uh, the thing I've worked hardest on is bringing jobs to Texas. And when I punch that screen and I see that there are jobs available, then I know that all we need to do is get that information to the people who need them. As we get on this uh, superhighway of information, uh, government being the leader, and this kind of innovation is very important. It's so simple and it's so easy uh, that anybody can do it. And as a consequence, while there may be some initial timidity, I think they're gonna love it. Well, it seemed to me as I heard the discussion going on that the billing for this is about like your light bill. You're not gonna own the electric company uh, and you're gonna pay for the service of having electricity in your home. Uh, so the nice thing is you're not gonna have the capital outlay that would be necessary for government to pay for the kiosks and the machines and all of that, but uh, we would be able to pay for the use of it. And it seems to me a good public-private partnership. Reinventing government is really a pretty simple concept, and we've instituted a lot of it here in Texas. And that has been to look at simpler ways to do things that we are now making very complicated and that require a lot of employees and require a lot of paperwork. Everyone is going to be a part of this great information access age and I'm just glad that the Texas Employment Commission is a leader. Info Texas, making government accessible to the people with the touch of a screen. This innovative job search network was developed by North Communications in cooperation with the Texas Employment Commission and the IBM Lone Star Trading Area, who will maintain a role through technical support and marketing.